Our Bernard demonstration enables users wearing a stereo head-worn display to experience the illusion of seeing their own hands burning, which we achieved by overlaying virtual flames and smoke on their hands. In this slow motion segment, you can observe the fire effect in more detail. This is a series of clips showing the participants' view of the Bernard demo through the head-worn display. This clip shows the effect of hand movement on the virtual flames. The virtual smoke is also affected. When the hand is held in a fixed position, the fire is not affected by head movements. Rapid hand movements extinguish the virtual fire. The participant views his hands through the real-time video of the stereoscopic head-worn display. The markers on the back wall are used by the MR platform software to track the user's head. The sounds of our simulated fire are played through the speakers. Our computer vision component is responsible for the computation of a volumetric hand model and its movements from frame to frame, expressed as optical flow. First, raw measurements from MR platform are refined as follows. Based on the calibrated skin color, the user's hands are segmented from the camera image and stored in a hand mask buffer. Next, we refine the hand mask through a robust filter. Finally, we use the refined mask to cut out pixels that are part of the hand. The result is a grayscale image. Second, based on the refined hand mask and using epipolar geometry, we reconstruct a depth map and its optical flow between frames. The graphics layer is responsible for generating a fire effect around the user's hand from the given computer vision input. This algorithm consists of three steps. First, the input is converted into a 3D voxel grid. Second, a fluid simulation is run on the voxel representation with each cell containing temperature, density, and velocity. Third, voxels are mapped to colors for representing smoke and fire. This clip shows a visualization of 16 slices of our volumetric fire simulation at one time step. On the left, the density components are shown, mapped in grayscale. On the right, the velocity components are mapped to RGB from low, blue, to high, red. In this section, we show several clips from our demonstration at ISMAR 2011.